Organisms which can manufacture their own food in their body are termed autotrophic. In order to manufacture their own food, they require energy which they can get by synthesizing complex organic compounds to form simple inorganic compounds and then convert them into carbon dioxide. There are two modes of obtaining energy. They are photoautotrophic and chemoautotrophic. The organisms which can trap the light energy to synthesize complex organic compounds are called photoautotrophs. Some bacteria. Algae. Higher plants. Organisms which obtain energy by oxidizing simple inorganic compound such as hydrogen, iron compounds, sulfur, hydrogen sulfide, ammonia and other nitrogen containing compounds are termed as chemoautotrophs. Iron oxidizing bacteria belong to this category. Organisms which cannot manufacture their own food but depend on other organisms like plants and animals are termed as heterotrophs. All animals, fungi and a number of bacteria are heterotrophs. Heterotrophic fungi and bacteria are termed as saprophytes as they procure nutrients from dead and decaying plants and animals. They decompose and degrade complex molecules into simple molecules and absorb them through their body surface. In this process, they add number of nutrients to water and soil. The animals that consume plant foods are known as herbivorous. The animals that consume other animals are called carnivores. Animals which consume both plant and animal food are termed omnivores. There are some plants which are carnivorous. The insectivorous plants belong to this category. Though these plants are autotrophs, the consumption of insects boosts their growth. The third type of nutrition is mixotrophic. Mixotrophic nutrition is seen in animals and plants which show association with other plants and animals. There are mainly two types of associations. They are symbiosis and parasitism. Symbiosis. In this type of association, two organisms live together and are mutually beneficial to each other by providing food, shelter or both. Let us examine two examples. Nitrogen fixing bacteria live in the roots of leguminous plants. These plants provide food and shelter to the bacteria while the bacteria provide nitrogenous compounds to the plant. Lichens, fungus and algae exhibit symbiotic relationship. The algae supplies food to the fungus while the fungus provides shelter to the algae. We can observe the symbiotic relationships in animals also. The association between sea anemone and crabs is a good example. Sea anemone gives protection to the crab while the crab gives small pieces of food to the sea anemone. Isn't that amazing? You can say that nature is teaching us to share.
parasitism association is one in which an organism depends on another organism for shelter and food the organism which seeks shelter and food is benefited and is termed as a parasite in majority of these cases the host is affected badly and may die all disease causing organisms are called parasites the parasites which live outside the body of the host is called an ectoparasite while the one which lives inside the host is endoparasite some examples of ectoparasites are bed bug head lice house fly and mosquito some examples of endoparasites are malaria parasite in blood of man and ascaris in the intestine of man dear students we have examined the various types of nutrition and associations in plants and animals in the next topic we will examine how water and salts are transported in plants mm.